What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and we have some spicy new software news that happened yesterday. Microsoft 365 went down for North America, I think, and Australia. And it was a really big outage. So how about we discuss this, guys? So guys, yesterday, oh, September, what, 28th? At around 2.30 p.m. PST, Pacific uh, Standard Time, Microsoft Office 365 and all these services just, just start, stop, stop working altogether. So you can't, if, you, if you're using Outlook, you won't get any notification. If you're using Teams, you can't log in. You can't, uh, you can't authenticate yourself to log into Teams. You can't uh, check your email. You can't do most of other services, Office, opening Office to authenticate you that, you're, that you actually have a license or not. All of that stuff just magically stopped working. So I'm going to prefix that a little bit, but if you had existing connections, with Microsoft, that seems to be continuing working. It's just new connections to Office 365 services, such as Microsoft Teams, Outlook. Those are blocked. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk more about it. So Microsoft status, uh, Twitter put up uh, this tweet. I'm gonna read it a little bit and then we will discuss. We're investigating an issue affecting access to multiple Microsoft services. We're, uh, we're working to identify the full impact and we'll provide more information shortly. And then a few, few minutes over, they think that they this is a cause as a, uh, they obviously uh, created a, a, an issue just for, for us to follow up with. This is the reference if you want to, and, and we can look at status.office.com. This, this is just for you, the podcast listener, so I don't have to read through things. I don't assume things. Right, so they identified a recent change that appears to be the source of the problem. That, that's what they thought, right? And uh, they, are, they rolled back that install, but it did not help much. So what they did instead, they rerouted traffic into another infrastructure, right? So, so because that rollback, which they thought this was the problem, the root cause of the failing connections, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit, right? Uh, that, that basically uh, didn't work, right? They didn't see an increase in successful connections. So, so they, and instead, they rerouted the traffic to an alternate infrastructure. They, started, they tried to be as vague as possible. That's why I, I couldn't find technical information. So I had to dig deep yesterday to find some information to, to make this video about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about it a little bit. And then they started after, after rerouting the traffic. Everything seems fine. And at 9 p.m. yesterday, Pacific Standard Time, we've confirmed that the residual issue has been addressed and the incident has been resolved. Any users still impact, uh, experiencing impact should be mitigated shortly. So what happened, guys? What happened? This is the effect, guys. This is an image I saw from Twitter. So Australia, Australia, and North America got affected. And I think, was this Japan? I think it's Japan. Oh my God, that's not Japan. No, no, that's not Japan. Oh my God, I'm gonna get embarrassed. I don't know geography, guys, so. So me, I totally didn't look that up. It's New Zealand. Here's Japan. I don't know. I thought Japan is all right. Whatever. All right. So New Zealand also got affected. So here's what happened, guys. When you try to log in to any of the services in Microsoft, right? You're authenticated basically with your username and password, right? And that goes into something called the Active Directory. If you log into Windows, I have Mac here, but you get the idea. If you log into Windows, every Windows operating system has something called the Active Directory, which which manages the authentication for you. Okay, and this is this system is built on a default authentication system called Kerberos, which is which is really badass. Uh, I'm gonna reference a video here by Dr. Mike hound from computer file he did a great job uh, explaining kerberos it's a, it's basically an authentication system an authorization system also that does not work with the asymmetric 
encryption is purely symmetric encryption just for performance just for uh trust issues and and then for forward secrecy and all that stuff so it is a really good system right so that's uh, i'm gonna reference the video here for a while but what if everything is in the cloud like microsoft 365 you need a global active directory instance and that is called the active direct azure active directory or aed that's what it stands for obviously if you google this error now you can start seeing just mad people over the internet so i went and I, through google's pages and i found exactly what could cause this error that's exactly the error that but that's that's also created september 28 i don't want because anything created september 28 is is just basically uh, it's basically noise at this point so i wanted to go what exactly caused this right so that a transient error so i found an article from july 14 wait, wait that's not july june 14 even even before that a transient error has occurred please try again so when things were a little bit less chaotic right and here is from from microsoft australia i believe here's the answer i'm gonna read it out loud i see this on my dashboard the dashboard to, that checks the status of the that's in june 14th checks the status of the azure active directory aad that's the third three first three letters there authentication errors status our tenant elementary detected issues with issuing aad tokens and these are the tokens and and tickets basically for the kerberos system guys we, we talked about it a little bit because kerberos in order for a service to talk another service they issue there is this ticketing system that issues a ticket that allows you to use this ticket as an and convert it into a token to be used for future request and authentication so you don't get the blocked right so if you had a ticket you're good but issuing new tokens and issuing new tickets is what caused this problem again guys this is all to me this is all speculation I'm, I'm just speculating there's and i might be wrong and i'm i'm, I'm pretty sure I, <laughs> I will be wrong obviously so we'll wait for microsoft to actually issue an actual statement to what happened but what the, what i think is it's it's a problem in the azure active directory specifically in kerberos authentication issuing those tickets now you might ask Hussein, what would what might cause that i have no idea maybe the install that they talked about here was a new crypto that they just wanted to test right they wanted to test a new crypto and and it didn't work in the production system maybe some verification in the in the keys god knows i don't know anything about kerbers to be honest and and, and azure uh for that matter but that yeah guys this is this is basically what happened People started getting this error, a transient error has occurred, please try again. And here's the thing, the, 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 the problem that amplified this was that, because if you, if you already logged in, you, don't, you shouldn't have a problem, but people started to get, including me actually, I got this message, because we use uh, Microsoft at, uh, at Esri. I got this message like, hey, your password is invalid. I got it on my phone, I got it on my, on my, 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 my machine. It's just like, oh, you you must log out your password is incorrect i was like what no it's not <laughs> so so i did i just ignored the message that's why i didn't see it and i logged off by i think uh, by 5 p.m i just logged off so so <laughs> I, uh, I, I i didn't face any problem to be honest everything was working i didn't really check my email from from three to five so i didn't really face that problem but a lot of people my, my colleagues are seeing it so it's big it's big but it's, it's solved now how did they solve it i have no idea they they didn't mention that so they did say that they transient they they rerouted the traffic into uh into another system and guys if anyone from microsoft i would love to be if you are allowed to, to speak i know some some of you might not be allowed to uh to talk about this publicly but if you are allowed please let us know in the comment section what exactly happened right so so yeah so what happened here is they rerouted the traffic into a different infrastructure 
to an alternate infrastructure. That my guess is this is an another instance of uh, Azure Active Directory or AAD, right? And uh, I don't know what STS stands for in this number, but this number did uh, show up again and again. To be honest, like <laughs> it, it was, it was so bad. It was, I felt so bad. People are are just. Uh, Reading Twitter was, man, that was so bad because students want to submit their assignments. People want to do their meetings and interviews. They couldn't do get things done. But yeah, guys, we rely on technology all the time. And um, imagine, so building cloud architecture has to be resilient. And, and when it's working, we don't really pay much attention to it. But if when it's not working, we start yelling and screaming. This makes me just uh, appreciate everyone who's working on this kind of task as engineers. Thank you so much for doing all this work for us. Microsoft and Amazon and Google, they're doing tremendous, tremendous, tremendous work. Tremendous, tremendous work just to keep us, us working, right? Because they, they, they did, they, every time, every day they come to work and, and they do their best and they make clever engineering to scale their system as much as possible and the day th bad things happen everybody's just yell at them of course what you don't you don't you don't uh, thank them when things go good but when when things go wrong you start yelling at them so i i give them some slack because yeah of course mistakes happen and i, I don't know if the mistake was actually the installing of that thing that they didn't mention what it is i noticed that microsoft started to be like unlike cloudflare where where they actually talk about everything public hey this is what happened this is what happened and this is what happened we screwed up here we screwed up here we screwed up here we screwed up here in the cloudflare but compared to microsoft that they, they try to hush hush things that's what i noticed but yeah that's that's what we have and i, I might be wrong maybe microsoft was gonna put up a blog detailing everything single thing that happened and i love to see that but guys, yeah, yeah, uh, I appreciate every one single one of you who are working on these big companies, making, making sure that our services stay up to date, to be honest. Guys, what do you think about this uh, outage? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to see you on the next one. You have a wonderful day. Goodbye.